Hello everyone, my name is Bill Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. It's been a long time coming, I think at least a few months, but I'm so excited to share with you all that I finally found it. I sourced a bar cart that I liked and I did so affordably on the secondhand market. If you followed my journey for some time, you'll know that I've been thrifting glassware and other bar cart accessories over the last few months in preparation for this moment. So I'm happy to say that my search has come to an end and I can finally display these pieces that I've accumulated how I envision them in my space. Now, because I have so many decorative accessories for this bar card in my collection, I did just want to take a moment to arrange and compose a few varied looks for you all to see. So definitely stick around to see the magic that I've worked for inspiration. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below for more styling, thrift hauls, and inspiring home decor adventures. Leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you're enjoying my channel. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Botox Now. This is where you'll find more of my behind the scenes home decorating and styling inspiration. Before we dive right into the styling portion of this video, I do want to quickly explain to you guys how I located this piece. You all know that I advocate heavily to use secondhand apps like Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp, and that's how I found this bar cart. Typically bar carts, they're gone in seconds, you guys. I've put in probably six or seven different offers for bar carts that pop up in my area, and I'm always too late to the punch. So I messaged the seller, and believe it or not, he actually got back to me the following day and said, let's meet. So I was super stoked about that. It was a simple and easy transaction, and I was surprised to see that once I brought it home, I did do my research, as you guys know. It's called the Willem Mirrored Bar Cart. You can actually purchase it on Joss and Main's website. They're a sister company. I believe to Wayfair. The piece in this black and bronze color is sold out. It was $399. I believe you can still purchase the brass and the other variation online for around $244 on sale. But guess what guys, I only paid $50 for this piece. So it was no sweat off my back. There's absolutely no damage to the piece. It's in perfect condition. All I had to do was clean it up just a bit. It fits so effortlessly into the decor that I already have within my apartment and it's just ready to be styled. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. For starters, I wanted to incorporate some life into this first tier for the added color pop. Flowers for me are a must, and I was able to arrange this bouquet from bundles I sourced at Trader Joe's for a total of around $20. Now a bar cart wouldn't be a bar cart without a few spirits. There are five that I believe are worth having on hand at all times, like vodka, gin, a bourbon or rye whiskey, rum and tequila. I have three of the five here for visual and tonal hues that correspond with the existing decor that I have in my home, but definitely utilize the bottles you have on hand because though aesthetically pleasing, bottles do add up and you want to make sure that you're stocked with something you like. Citrus too is necessary in my book. These limes are the perfect natural element to add as garnish or juice to a cocktail. I place them inside this beautiful stainless steel footed bowl that I thrifted from Goodwill for $1.99. Moving on to the second tier, now you definitely need mixers. Club soda is always good to have on hand and I don't know about you, but fizzy sparkling water is a favorite of mine, especially in the summer months. Not to mention these bottles too are such a beautiful color. If you watched my latest thrift haul, these Livy Bravara martini glasses should be familiar. I found a full set of six out at Goodwill for $1.99 each, and I love the curvature of the stems. It definitely juxtaposes with the flush surface of the bar cart frame. Now I don't have an ice bucket yet, but this crystal bowl that I picked up a couple years back from Home Goods will have to do the trick for now. It's by the brand Bohemia Crystal, and again, I love the organic waves in the bowl, contrasted against the straight lines and angular forms of the bar cart itself. This stainless steel cocktail shaker was part of a full mixologist set that I thrifted to from Goodwill for $4.99 a week back. You'll actually see that I draped the set of ice tongs from that set along the rim of the bowl for easy handling. I'm super pleased with the way this arrangement turned out. By adding just a few key accessories and thought to your placement, a bar cart can easily become a focal point in your home and live up to its full potential, both form and function.
I kept this arrangement intentional, and as many of you know I've thrifted and accumulated these pieces over quite a lengthy period of time and composed this look with practicality in mind. I wanted to make this bar cart work for me, work for my space, and ultimately style it with the goal of entertaining in mind. For the second arrangement, I'm still using the same floral bouquet. I have this placed in a crystal vase that I purchased from Home Goods by the brand Bohemia Crystal 2, and it's one of my go-tos. This marquee by Waterford Crystal Decanter is a piece that I thrifted from a local store for around $6 a few weeks back. And this vintage bulbous variation too was only $5.50 and yet another incredible thrift find. I'm using the same footed bowl from the first arrangement to hold the limes here too. I like to keep them on hand just in case I need to make a margarita or a Cosmo on the fly. This is the full stainless steel mixologist set and again, I only paid $4.99 for this piece from Goodwill, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled when you make your rounds. I'm in love with these ripped highball glasses. They are a vintage find and the ridges catch the light so beautifully. I want to say that I paid around $1.99 each for them at Goodwill. Very similar to sets that I've seen sell new at CB2 or West Elm for worlds more. So if you're on the hunt for timeless glassware pieces, I definitely recommend searching thrift stores first. I also laid the ice tongs across the glass pane for visual interest, but you could opt for napkins, straws, or other accoutrements. On the bottom shelf, we're storing the spirits and mixers this time around. Now I do want to make it a point to say that I try to vary the height and pyramidal arrangement and in groupings of three when possible. It's definitely not necessary, but a best practice that I find rarely fails me. and I'm back with the Bohemia Crystal Bowl being utilized as an ice bucket. I have my eye on one by the brand Nambe. It's very similar in style, but I'll take my chances at thrifting before I splurge. Though somewhat similar, this arrangement does have a much different feel overall. I believe that once you have the foundations down, that being statement glassware, cocktail tools, and quality spirits, the overall task of composing and styling a bar cart really becomes a more fun and artful experience. A good rule of thumb when decorating is to keep everything simple, and this rule definitely applies when it comes to styling a bar cart too. You want to make it easy for yourself and guests to navigate and make a drink by keeping only the essentials on board. Now on to look 3, I switched up the vase for this look and I wanted to see if adding a black ceramic vessel to the mix would add a bit of drama. I opted to offset the arrangement with this Mikasa open decanter or carafe that I thrifted for $3.99 last week, such a stunning piece that I'm glad to have picked up. This vintage Lucite handkerchief bowl is new. I thrifted a complete set of four earlier this week from Goodwill for $3.99 and decided to use one to hold the limes this time around. And here I'm adding that bold, emerald green color pop once more in the second shelf by way of the sparkling water mixer. For some visual height and depth, I decided to incorporate these oversized hip wine glasses from Crate and Barrel. I want to say that I paid around $6.95 for each of these. They're delicate but sturdy and practical, and they hold 31 ounces, so you're go-to for a big pour. I have the Champagne Flutes too from the Hip Collection at Crate and Barrel. I want to say that each of these was around $7 a piece as well, so still very reasonable, not goodwill inexpensive, but worth treating yourself to. 
Crate and Barrel is one big box store that I absolutely love. I purchased a majority of my kitchenware from there. Dishes, glassware, mugs. They're quality made pieces and well worth the investment. And to finish off this bottom most shelf, I had to add in the aesthetically pleasing bottles and stainless steel cocktail shaker once more. Again, use what you have on hand, display what you actually like to drink if you like to drink at all. Much like styling bookshelves, a coffee table, or a vignette, the key to creating a beautiful bar cart display is through your own personal touch. They can be arranged in countless ways, for looks, for use, whatever your home calls for. You can see the overall color story and theme of my bar cart woven through the three arrangements that I composed today, and best of all, they're multifunctional. Sure, they're great at holding liquor, but you can use one as a towel holder in a bathroom, a plant stand, a nightstand in a bedroom, a media center. The possibilities, as you can imagine, are endless. Now, I did just quickly want to touch on one thing because I see a lot of comments asking me why I didn't just go out and buy a bar cart brand new. That's simple, you guys. I could definitely go out and buy a bar cart at any big box store. There's beautiful bar carts to be had. But the point is that I wanted to get one that I enjoyed for a deal. And I know that they're out there. Plain and simple, you can log on to Facebook Marketplace. You can log on to eBay, OfferUp. Go to thrift stores. Go to antique stores in your area. I can guarantee that you will find something Thing that you're looking for. It may take time. It wasn't instantaneous. I've been looking for this bar cart for months, but I'm so happy with the one that I found. And not only did I find one that I liked, but I found one affordably. And that's the whole point. I don't want to go spend $400 on a bar cart when I know that I can find the same piece that I'm looking for for $50. It may not be tomorrow, but I know that they're out there. I know I can do it. I've proven it time and time again. You all can do this too. It may take time, but you have to have patience, really be diligent in your search and just trust in the process. Anyway, that is it for this week's video, my friends. Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know which arrangement was your favorite. Hit the thumbs up button to like this video and let me know you enjoyed this week's styling session. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and accompany me on this weekly home to portrait. Follow me over on Instagram for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss an upcoming video. I hope you all have the best day and until next time, bye!